Hello and welcome to the pilot episode of my Let's Play of Reseteer, um, an item shop's tale. And I hope I said the name of that right, I can never be quite sure as to how it's supposed to be said. Um, Reseteer. Let's go with Reseteer. Um, now this is a game which I, I, I picked up once and played for a little bit. I actually had it as a kind of a one hour try and play on my laptop a little bit, but never quite got, I think I played about four or five hours of it. Um, just never really got fully into it, but I always had a bit of a, like a soft spot for the concept, the fact it combines two of my favourite things, like um, sort of like simulation of markets and stores and that, and <laughs> like an old school RPG style. Um, I always liked the idea of the fact that you were sort of an NPC as well, just conceptually. It's, um, we're not an NPC, but obviously, but you are running a shop, which is generally an NPC's role in any one of these games. But, yeah, um, it seemed quite interesting. I got a little way into it, but kind of put it down. Um, so I thought I'd pick it back up again for, for this, and, well, we'll give it about half an hour or so and see how we get on with it, essentially. So I'm going to pick up the game. I think you just jump straight in, basically. Yeah. I'll shift that, if you can see it. Um... Yeah, um, and so this is Tear of Vesatia fame, or Vesatia fame, um, and evidently not. So, Murple, uh, that's yeah. Oh, delicious candy, yes. I'm not quite sure what those noises are. Mimble Werble. Uh, I'm guessing they're supposed to be kind of onomatopoeic, but, hmm, yeah. I do like the fact that, uh, I'm, for my limited understanding of it, they'd say the random Japanese phrases are still left in as well. Or like bits and pieces of dialogue. Um, what, what, when's it? Ah. Yeah. Um, we don't have time for good morning. You plan to spend the rest of your life dreaming of sweets? Well, to be fair, that's quite the life. Um, yeah, today's the day we set for the opening of the store. Oh yeah, 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 yeah sure, yeah, that was it, yeah. So, and now she's swearing in French, superb. Um, she's very refined, is Tia. Um, so yeah, go wash your face, make yourself look presentable. Damn it, woman! Yep. So, down in the shop, and we have this sort of like nice pixel arty style as well. Um, but yeah. Yeah, let's go. And the the um, relatively famous phrase in this, it's capitalism, ho! Oh. Uh, I do actually really like these translations of these games. Um, yeah, patience is something you will need. Um, but yeah, few matters. Um, like how to run the shop and what generally yeah I was gonna say people just come in and just give us money for nothing um yeah uh oh yeah yeah of course so let's crack on with that yeah so we have baseline stock of things and yeah makes sense hmm well there's a couple of places I believe Town Market, or the Merchant's Guild. Um, yeah, we need to go and see the Merchant's Guild, apparently, so let's do that. Yeah. So, yeah, that's... Yeah, they're, they're wholesaler. We go and just buy stuff on on mass off them and sell it in our store. A little, little bit of markup. Um, yeah. It wouldn't hurt to grov uh, give our polite regards, yeah. You know, just soft pedal that a little bit to you. Um, yeah, they are the ones that let us kind of work here and run a business, so... Yep, let's do it! When you want to leave, just head to the front door. Currently located in the upper right-hand corner of the store. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Damn right! To eternity! No, wait, that's... No. Yeah, cut it, cut it out. We can't afford the licensing for that. Um, yeah, really you're quite the fan of... I'm just, it's the, which one's the button for? There we go. Um, so it's like it's like the sort of 2D on 3D style, which I've, I've been a fan of since playing Grandia back in the day. I always thought it was a nice sort of art style. 
Um, I don't think we can turn the camera around, can we? No. We don't really need to. But yeah, the translation is, um, it's, I think it's Carpe Fulga, which is Latin for something, I assume, but I don't really know Latin at all. But um, yeah, I, I believe if they weren't, at least they were, see, they're either working on the second chapter or did work on Trails as well for the translations, um, which were excellent. And this, the, 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 for lack of a better phrase, the localization and the humor in these. This should I say at least I haven't played the other two that they translated, which I believe are Fortune Summoners and Chantilly's. I want to say, um, like basically, the, like the quality of the translations are excellent. They really help endear the characters. If it's not them, that looks, it's of the same standard as Trails in the Sky. I think at least based on these scenes that I've seen so far. Um, but yeah, girl on a ferry. Yes, Vasette and that loan shark. <clears throat> Yeah, that's that's not totally wrong, but please don't. Um, I, yeah, hey, you're the one who's being fleeced here. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So how are preparations coming? Yeah, so we were planning opening. So we we figured we put everything apart from you know like an idea of what we're gonna sell. So. Let's crack on. Um, yeah, business time. So, hmm. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah. Yes. Um, um, yes. Yes. We do. Yeah. She knows how to play the game. Just for said. Um, <laughs> but yeah. So let's go and get some merchandise. And I guess we just need a. Yeah, funds are limited, so do not go completely overboard. I recommend purchasing no more than 10 items. Yep. Okay, so... Uh, I'm just going to scan through here, because I've got a feeling we can get nowhere near 10 items. Just look at it, so we've got a thousand... Um, the currency in this game's picks, it seems. Um, there's not much I can... Looks the, the get more expensive the further down you go. I can buy some clothes, maybe, but there's not a lot I can buy for under 100 here. So I might buy a clothes, a clothes, a clothes, um, a wooden armband. Just try and get some low, various low value items, basically. Um, a wool hat, let's get for one of those. Um, a sword, we'll get a sword. And let's have a look. So we're probably about 140. We've got a leather glove. No, I'll get a leather glove. Uh, got a I'll get a scrap plate. And we've got 230 left. Can I afford anything else new? Got a wool heart. Haven't got a souvenir charm. Let's get a souvenir charm. That'll do us. Again, nowhere near 10 items, but I, I probably could have squeezed 10, but let's not. And what have we got to talk about? There's actually there's quite a lot to talk about. Um, let's have a chat with him just to try and get some of these things, like these concepts, down. So the guild, I think we do know, but I'm just going to go back over. Yeah, so a guild is essentially a group of people in the same kind of business who co cooperate with one another. Since the prices on items can vary from store to store, it's hard to do business if there isn't a base price between them. That makes sense, although so it's kind of a knowledge and supply and demand thing, but I'll take your word at that. Um, yeah, so they kind of keep everything fair, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, so you've got to register with the guild to be able to sell. I'm sure you get a cut as well, but yeah. Actually, no, they just make money by selling stuff on. I guess they get it in for cheaper and sell it as profit. And, yeah, now that you remember, you can pick up stock in sh from your shop here and get access to a few other benefits. So what are the benefits today? Um, what can I do? Be able to get goods for a set price. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the town's main market, who we work with, um, is where you can get things like foodstuffs, books, and other assorted knickknacks. The really flashy and rare stuff is a bit out of our league. You've got a mind to get your mitts and that kind of stuff, you'll have to go dungeon stomping yourself or buy it off a customer. Yeah, so some people, it is a bit like porn stars where you come in and they just kind of say, well, what can you give us for this? And then you have to go and, you know, call your expert, except you don't have one, so you just have to say, I'll give you this amount, and then they get, they storm off. But um, anyway, you will buy for any excess and buy low, sell high, obviously. But you're not going to give me any sort of flexibility on here, so buying off you is... Well, yeah. Um, right, so... 
let's have a look so we've got oops um, oh I've just clicked that back through again didn't mean to do that let's just skip through this yeah so about merchant levels so that's your abilities goes to be able to figure out how to redecorate or even expand your store uh, premium items well, surely it's in your interest to sell to a whoever can afford but yeah how do you raise your limple? Le limple? What the hell is that? I'll come back in two words there. Level? Simple? Um, yeah, just buy, sell, and trade. Um, so, city's getting a bit famous for the old ruins and like the lit of the surrounding countryside. Yeah. Right, so we've got the local area to go adventuring in, and we can basically. I don't think it's, well, it's kind of already hinted at it, but you can, you can go dungeon crawling through there as well. Hunting for fat loot. They call it the kids these days with their mad loot hordes. Um, yeah, oversized loot. <sighs> yeah, um, it's not what fat means, I suppose. But yeah, um, actually no, he's, no, ugh, never mind. Yeah, I'm being dim there. So yeah, let's have a look. So um, yeah, pub. Let's have a look. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so there's a chapel. So you're gonna look. Ah, you can go and do some odd bits and pieces from the chapel as well, by the looks of it. Um, Adventurers Guild. There is an Adventurers Guild as well. Oh, good, yeah. Right. So, wait. If you're always open, how do you find time to visit the pub? <laughs> you had the kind of. Oh, dear. <laughs> At work or in the sauce. That's superb. Um, <laughs> Meld. Um, yeah. So. Oh, I've just done it again. Ah. D -d 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 yeah. Sk oh, God. Took my fat loot again. Sorry. Apologize for this. I keep, just keep kind of automatically just pressing the button and then not thinking it's back to the menu. Um, so. It wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't like 12 tea. There we go. Wait. Sauce. Yeah. Forget I asked. Um, unknown items. So, dungeon diving, right, yeah. Um, ah, mystery ingredients, yeah. But you keep finding them, and as you mentioned, that goes, you'll be able to sort them out, pick them out, and work out what's what. Right. Yeah, you've got a bit of a random um, element there. After a few merchant levels when you're under your belt, you'll be able to fuse items here at the... Right, this is getting getting on for a bit, but... Yeah, so you can merge items. Um, right. Yeah, so you got... Ah, there's a bit... Yeah, so you've got to strike a balance here between whether or not you want to use stuff for yourself, particularly when you're doing the dungeon crawls, and also selling them for money to then get better stuff. That's what he's getting at here. Um... Right, well, I guess we're done there. Uh, talked his ear off there, pretty much. Or he's talked ours off. Yeah, that'll do me. Perfect. So, yeah, let's do that. And, ooh, a little something extra. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Walnut bread. That sounds a bit weird, actually. Not used to that sort of thing. But yeah, let's go for it. Capitalism, ho! Oh. No. Okay. Yeah, Adam Smith will be proud of us at any rate. Adam Smith exists in this world. Well, that's interesting. Um, okay, <laughs> well, I guess we're going back to the shop. Um, it's a place we had left that was not greyed out, but... Yeah, crash course of running an item shop. So... We put the items on display. Um, yeah, that's true. So we've got our best stuff in the window, I think. Get them in the shop, you know. Um. Yeah. Primary button. Yeah, you'll get it. Don't worry. Um. <laughs> bit of fourth wall break in there, ish. But yeah. Right. So think carefully before you place something. Yeah. Start off. Why not line up what we perched on one of the counters? Yeah. Okay. So let's put it over here. So what's the most expensive thing I bought? So I ended up buying a lot of cheap stuff actually. 
so hart. Um, sure. Yeah, sure, sure, what is it? Those cans by the window. Items you place there are visible to anyone passing by on the street. As such, putting an eye-catching item, the sort of thing that makes you think, I want to buy this more than anything on those counters, is a core principle of running a shop like this. In a very real way, those counters are the face of the shop. Yeah, so... Right. Well, you're not... You clearly haven't run many shops for set. Okay. But... I don't really ha like put that bread, walnut bread, hundred. Just stick things around. So, oh, got a souvenir charm there. Actually, that'll go. Up. Um, a couple of two hundred rated ones. I'm gonna try and keep the keep some things in the window just so they're visible. And I've got a scrap plate there. I think that's everything, isn't it? Yep. Cool. That'll do. You sure it doesn't look dumb? I can't, I can't guarantee anything, but yeah. Okay, thank you very much for your non-approval there. So yeah, that's a good idea. So, let's go and sit at the counter. Plonk. Well then, the items are in place. Now you need to learn how to actually sell things without embarrassing yourself. I can't guarantee I won't embarrass myself, but let's go. Okay, oh... Yeah, um, lecture on the actual process of selling an item we have displayed. Yes, Professor! <laughs> right, okay. Welcome to the world of tomorrow! No. Um, yeah. Two customers will find an item they want on our displays and they will come over to the counter to pay for it. <laughs> Can I get this, please? Um, yeah, sure. Yeah. Pay close attention to the base price. Also, you press button three. Oh, it's button three. Um, I'll work it out. There. Oh, there you go. It's like square. Tack four in base price. Bloody bar. Yeah. <laughs> Consult the custom.exe program included with Vesseteer if you wish to check out or alter your button configurations. Wait, but... Yeah, yeah. Come on, game. <laughs> Focus reset. Anyway, your life is hard enough to control as it is. Uh, uh. You must decide what price you wish to offer. In general, you want to try and name a price higher than the base. Uh, less... Uh, base price serves as your default. To raise your offer, press up. <laughs> now, if memory serves... We kind of want to be between like to about thirty percent markup on things. So if I was to say right sixteen hundred, let's try that as a yeah. It's a sale, and you get a little bit of experience. You get the cash, you get a bit of your shop levels up a bit. You kind of don't, but yeah, just as you don't want to piss them off, but keep going. Now there is a little bit of a personality factor in this as well. Yeah, so you know, you, yeah, you got you got you got to try and do your. Well, I've got to make some money on this myself, or you know, well, I bought it for that, so I've got to make some profit on it. You know, if they disagree, but stay, yeah. So you kind of work down towards it. Yeah. So right. So you can't. Yeah, potentially they could be just trying to see if you'll move a little bit. But if you don't, yeah, if if you, if you don't move, and then. They were just wanting to get a bit lower. They're going to say, right, pff, not going to bother. So I think, in my mind, it would be case of just kind of slowly bringing yourself down regardless. Just aim for the sale. Unless you can really tell they're not going to, but I don't know how you can. So, yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, we probably want to just try and get in and out and be get, basically get some custom, get some people turned over. Might even try a little bit lower than that. Um, yeah, let's try for it. So let's get the door open, get some folk in. Oh no, it's just right. Okay. Uh, up button. Uh, uh, let's try 1600. Right, so yeah, at this level you'd likely ha end up haggling a little. 
Alright, now for the fine art of haggling. Theoretically, what you wish to do is lower your price slowly. Yes, yeah, so you've got to be down a little bit. So, yeah, just... To, that's right, yeah, so she does actually tell you. A large number of stores sell at about 30% over base price. Right, so usually. Yeah, so... You managed to go over that, you'll make a lot of money, but you do not wish to risk driving away a customer, yeah. So you'll get so many customers a day. And, yeah. Can you make that a little bit cheaper? Okay, cheaper, not too cheap. So I'll take, I'll take 50 off, maybe? Seems like a good price. Yeah, so we've kind of got under the 30% markup, but I'm kind of looking to get the sale, so, yeah. If you can sell me an item, we'll be ready for what lies ahead. So let's try again. What do you want to buy, then? Yeah, welcome to Vestir. Ooh, steel sword. Very nice. I'll offer you it for 4,000. Hmm, okay. 3,9. Okay, 3,850, but that's, that's my final offer. Okay. Fine, I thought I was being good. I thought I was doing some good handling there. Let's try again, right? Right, so four grand. Okay, three nine then. No? Okay, three eight. Very good, right? I thought three eight fifty was fair. But... Yep, yeah, no problem. Woohoo! Get that cash. Okay, wait one more time. So. Hello. Another steel sword. So let's try four grand to start with. Fine, three nine. Nine, three eight again. Yes, yeah, I think you get three goes basically, so. Yeah. Okay, so just ask her how to do it. But. I think we're about ready. <laughs> Why, thank you. Um. Yeah. So, a little bit of time left. Let's go ahead and open the store proper. Let's do this thing. Um, yeah. Uh, it'll have to be, won't it? As the saying goes, salesmanship is more of an art than it is a science. Much like science. Um, no, don't worry. Um, yeah, it's going to, you're going to open the door and I'll sit here and be charming. Oh, hey. Oh, you want some walnut bread? Oh, yeah, we do. We have all sorts of lovely stuff. I'll offer you that for 130. Uh, okay, it's 125 then. Lovely. I asked that bread out of the way. Perfect. Massive success. Uh, it's evening now. Okay. Thank you. I sold stuff. I, me, reset, sold stuff. I like the people. People with money. And they gave me money and I gave them the things. This is how selling works. No. Um, I, I'm so happy. Yay. Yay. Uh, we get a little bit of, yeah, because of course. And that's how we started running an item shop. And shenanigans ensued. なぜ私たちが相手も屋を始めることになったかというとどうべ話は私とディアが出会った時に遡ります。オッケー。そう。イズアダークエンドストーミーナイス。ノ、オッケー、ノ。イージーゲームステーションプレゼンツ。Fairy, a girl, yeah. All of these features we've kind of gathered so far. And how to run an item shop. Perfect. See, this is these are skills you can use in real life as well, of course. Um, Reseteer. Or Reseteer, I keep on saying it. It's Tear and Reset. So Reseteer. Um, but yeah. You know, after if I do play this and finish it through... I'll be able to open my own shop. You know, selling bread and swords. I'll see if I can get a business plan up in the next few weeks. Um, but yeah. Three months since Papa left. Hmm. 
Okay. You would have thought within three months somebody would have said or done something, but... Yep, don't worry too much about it, because he's really tough. Hmm. What? Who is it? Hi. Huh? Down. There we go. I wonder who that could be. Um, you're a mademoiselle with a set lemon grass. Keep forgetting she is kind of French. Um, Miss Fairy. I will ask the questions. No, that's getting a bit German. Um, are you a set lemon grass? I guess yeah. I'm Tia. I'm an agent of the Term Finance Company. Oh dear, that sounds awfully grown up. So yeah, here to collect a payment, a payment on a loan paid out to your father. Contract and identification. Okay. In plainer terms, I'm here to get our money back. Yeah. If you're incapable of facilitating repayment, this house will be seized as collateral in order to repay the loan. Fac yeah, okay, yeah, don't we... Yeah, they're above her uh, sort of pay grade, I think. Whoa, whoa, whoa? Um, yeah. But, 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 uh, 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 no. Yes, I can see that, but we still need to get awesome sauce. File photo. Oh man, that's brilliant. That's that's just that's just purely brilliant. Um, so yeah, he was killing dragons by volcanoes, but he's not here. So yeah, we got we, it was all in the fine print. Yeah, that's pretty. Surely that wouldn't stand up in a court of law. Who? <laughs> Yeah, well, you best do something about it, Missy. Ah, good. Right, so in that meantime, we've got to set up a shop. <laughs> yes, sold into slavery, um, or, yeah, with no kidneys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Jesus, just listen to me. Yeah, stop selling your blood for spinach money. And... Or whatever you're trying to do. Um, yeah, so... Abs yes, that's the correct word. Absurd methods. The correct answer is to open an item shop. Very good. Labor's the best way to pay for things. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, stop doing that. Um, well, now's the chance, you lazy bum. No. Okay. Whether or not you're willing to work. Ah, see. I was going to say, you got, like, kind of, like, the, like new business startup advice coming on here. Ah, oh, I've got to do stuff. Yep, so, so we'll just take the house. That's fine. End of game. So, the answer is yes. Take the house. I'll just go and live on the streets. And yeah, those do not work, do not eat. So work or the house. Or the workhouse. No? Never mind. Um Yeah. Well we have an idea. Yeah. It is, yeah. Indeed. Ah, of course. What a great idea. What? Oh, damn it. I'll stop making that noise. I just like it today. Um, so, yeah. A little bit of that. And uh, we'll just knock the bottom out, basically. Don't take any support and walls down. But otherwise, set up a shop. Mademoiselle Lemon Glass. Yeah. She's at the shop. Yeah, why wouldn't she flee? All I did was threaten to take away everything she ever knew and loved. Why wouldn't she wait for me to come back? Yeah. 
Hmm. Her father is probably... Well, he was fighting a dragon on the edge of the volcano. That's going to end either one of two ways. And given he's not here, it ended that way. Um. Outside. Ah! Yep, hammer it a bit more. And job jobs. I don't get why people do that. It's like, well, I do. It's a simple animation to do, but... Like, I'm hammering this thing finished. I need to paint. It should have painted a bit of wood. Yeah, shop sign. Of course. Yes, it's it's lovely, but... Okay, well, why don't you just make stuff and sell it in the shop? Hmm. Well, the name. Are you sure you've thought that through? <laughs> ah, and here comes the... Um, yeah, Vasset and Tia. I'm guessing I'm pronouncing it incorrectly because it probably is in fact. Now I've just remembered this. It's two of us over in the store, so the name should be reflect that, right? No? It's that, well. No. <laughs> it's not Reseteer, it's Reketeer. Um. I mispronounce it even slightly and Reket. Racketeer? Racketeer? Ugh, Jesus. Yeah, I should go with, I want to soften the sea. Let's go with... I'm, is it supposed to be a pun? That's one of the things where... I'm guessing this is what the game was originally called in Japanese. It just seems odd to have a kind of... Multilingual pun as the title of a game, but never mind. Um, nobody knows. Tia, I want some candy. No. Oh, okay, that's better. At least it's kind of better than dreaming of food. <laughs> yeah. Hello. The clock does not have a good morning hand. You're the proprietor of an item shop now. You must learn to be responsible and not sleep the day away. <laughs> oh yeah, about that, yeah. Why in the name of heaven are you smiling so much? The smile you had while sleeping is just getting bigger, okay? I think I saw something nice in my dreams, okay? Well, it's gone now. It's fading from memory. Um, but yeah. Right. Yep, will do. And day two. So, hmm. So, I have an item shop and stuff. It's all cool and awesome. So, uh, yeah, now what? Okay. Or can we organize the shop or even go and search for new stock around town or elsewhere? Might be interesting. Ton of options. The world is basically our oyster. Um, but, yeah, it's more of an art than it is a science. Yeah. Now, what I'm going to do is, I believe, I'm going... Oops, that's camera. How do I do this again? There it is. So it's left to it. I am going to call it a day here. And... Basically, if we continue, what I'm probably going to do is we're going to head out and maybe do some adventure and a thing, get some good gear. Um, I think at this stage, it's probably the most cost-effective way of dealing with it. Um, although we need the gear for the... I don't know. We'll play it by ear a little bit. But, yeah. Um, let me know what you think, though. Like I said, I've got a feeling this game has a lot of potential to be interesting. Um, at least in terms of the way you've got to balance out the various facets of it. Um... The, the dungeon crawly element of stuff which is kind of I think it'll be similar to Ace um, 1 and 2 whereby it's quite a simplistic combat system but again we'll see um, so if you're interested in seeing some more of this please um, like or subscribe not subscribe sorry yeah, and comment on the video I mean, subs by all means subscribe to the channel but um, be clear to be clear indicate if you want to see more please like or comment the video and yeah I'll be especially. I'll, I'll try and record a couple more of these in the week. Um, it's been a long day, so it's getting quite late. I'm starting to kind of 
lose my train of thought here. So I'm going to wrap it up for tonight. Um, these videos probably go up on the Tuesday. I've been recording these late Monday night. But um, yeah, thank you very much for your time. Um, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care of yourself and have a good day. Bye.